Hi, Stacy Burke here. I just came home from work. It's a Friday night, and I'm hearing pounding, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all quiet until I hit record. But my new thing is, because I used to, um, you know, how everyone, like, showers and bathes every day, and I still do. Don't get all weirded out. But the thing I've been lacking on or like not doing as much of is washing my hair. Um, Cause I went on a road trip with Bridget like uh, a few months ago and she says she only washes her hair like, you know, every few days or every third day or fourth day or a week and stuff. And I remember my grandmother on my mom's side, and I think even both my grandparents, like washing the hair wasn't like done daily. In fact, I never really done it daily. I did it every other day. But my hair is getting really long. And to blow dry it, <sighs> it takes forever. And I think washing it daily was damaging it a little bit. Also brushing it and everything. And during the summer months, I've been taking advantage because it's hot. I don't like my hair or my face. I can't see it. I like to have it up while I work. But during the summer months, I put it up. I first, I put it in a ponytail, I braid it, and then sometimes I wrap it around and make a top knot. Well, if you think about it, you really don't need to wash it because it's in a top knot. The only thing, maybe your roots, because your scalp gets maybe sweaty or dirty. But when it's hot, I usually get a damp cloth and I'm always, you know, rinsing off my scalp because I'm warm. And during the winter months, I probably won't sweat. So I've been trying it out. I've been now washing my hair on Monday. And I don't wash it until the weekend. Because Monday through Friday while I'm at work, I don't need my hair down. I leave it like this. I sleep like this. I just leave it like this all week. So I haven't washed my hair since Monday. Today is Friday. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight, but I figure I'll do something. And either way, I have to take this down because I'm going to shower and wash my hair tomorrow. That's another thing. Showering is so much easier without washing the hair because it's all up. And I can shower and I can moisturize at the same time because usually your hair's down. You don't want to get your your lotion off. It's just, it's just so much quicker. And then the blow drying and the and and the combing and the detangling, it's just it's a it's a time saver. I love it. And also, I think it's probably giving extra care to my hair. I think it's healthier. Um. So, yeah. So I thought since tomorrow morning, Saturday, when I take a shower, I will probably will wash my hair. Uh, so I could have it down and stuff like that. But I have to take this off eventually. So I figured, why not take this down in front of you? Because it's Friday night. I figured I might do something tonight, so I kind of want my hair down and want something different. And um, if I don't do anything, it doesn't matter, because tomorrow morning I need to take get rid of this so I could shower. So I thought I would do it on camera. Because I know there's some hair fetishes out there. And plus, maybe you're just interested in the process. I love these clear little clips. Well, they're kind of green clip, but they're really cool. Because I have a bun maker that I love. But um, I've been just doing this lately. Every, you know, I have one bobby pin, and that's it. And let's see how this goes. It's a little tangled, maybe. Oh, yeah, a little tangled. But there is my ponytail braid. In fact, it's sorry for my congestion. I do get congested. Allergies. It smells like the shampoo. It smells like I just got out of the shower. Like, like when I get up in the morning and I wash my hair, I let it air dry for a little bit while I do my morning chores. And then I blow dry it, but I can't spend a long time blow drying it because I gotta get to work. So I blow dry it a little bit. So whenever I put it up, it's still semi damp. And then lots of times when I used to wash my hair every two days, it'd be still damp when I un 
unravel it. Now it's completely dry. If I want to go out, I should be fine. Like I say, my scalp, I always get a washcloth and I kind of like just kind of wet my scalp a little bit just to keep it cool and to keep the scalp fresh. But, um, yeah, it smells like the shampoo still. And I probably save money because I don't use as much hair product. You know, I don't shampoo and the conditioner and then the leave-in conditioner and maybe the, sh the shine stuff. Oh, God, it smells like I just came out of the shower. Seriously. Does my... I'm congested. Well, not congested. The, the nasal passages are a little swollen. Sorry if I do that. I had to pull them out. Like, congestion means there's something in the nose. There's, I have no mucus, nothing in the nose. What it is is the, my nostrils are swollen. Like, this is how your nostril is, like, a little swollen. The, the nostril itself, so it's hard to breathe. It's like breathing through a little straw. Okay, and then I have a few rubber bands. I don't rubber band just once. I do one, I have three. One, two, three. <laughs> you have to make sure it's really there. And oh, it feels, oh, it feels so good to brush this through. And I swear it felt, it smells just like it came out of the shower. And I haven't washed my hair since Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, technically four days, not really five days, but four days without washing it. Ah, like a little bit of tangles in there. All right, excuse me while I do this. And I think this will, doing this will stop the shedding so much, like clogging up my, um, my shower. <laughs> because when I used to wash my hair every other day, anyone with long hair would know that you kind of clog up your shower drain sometimes. And I, oh wow. I'm just noticing some hair coming off right now, but probably not as much as if I wash my hair every day. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this going, like washing my hair only two times a week, because technically I'm still washing my hair two times a week. Well, I wash it more, but two times a week, so it's not like once a week. Some people only wash hair once a week. I guess I could have kept it in a bun until Monday and then wash it once a week. I guess I could, but I don't know if I want to keep the bun for the weekend. I only like it in the bun while I'm at work. And then on the weekend, I kind of want my hair down. You know, I want some, a different look. I don't want the work look, you know. Um, but I guess technically I could keep it up until Monday, seven days. Yeah, I'm drinking white wine. I don't like white wine, but I'm drinking it. So, there it is. And it's been up in a braid, so it has a lot of volume. And it's kind of curly. I guess I could do different things to it. I don't know what I, I don't even know what I'm going out tonight. I, I probably will, um, but um, there we go, let's see, <laughs> it's kind of fluffed it up, huh, it's kind of stuck in like how I had it, I want more volume in the back, but I guess I can fix that later, there you go, there's my hair down after four days which is not that long and to tell you the truth it doesn't feel oily or weird or, or gross or dirty because it's fresh like I took a shower 
because it was all like coiled up so it didn't get dirty. The only thing that might be a little dirty would be my scalp. And like I told you, like every morning when I wash my face, I kind of take the washcloth and I get it in the scalp. So, and if you could tell, it's a little oily right here, but not bad. Because um, if I think I told you before, I kind of like have oily skin, which is a good thing. Um, I have dry patches someplace, but for the most part, my skin has a little oil in it, um, which is good. So, yeah, it is a little, but it's not bad. It's not like, um, like dirty oily. It's just, it's just my natural oils keep it moist. So, there we go. There's my hair now. So, there we go. I just, I don't know. I just thought, I just thought I would film this in case you're interested. Because, you know, doing fetish work, I know there's people that, like, have fetishes with the hair, especially long hair, and taking it down. So I just thought I would show you the process. I'll probably do, do other videos and post them up soon. So to all my stays cadets and all my cats, I hope you have a perfect day. Till next time. Peace.